But Jesus declared that most people are on their way to hell. Most people. Jesus said himself, enter in through the narrow gate. He said, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by that gate. Many go in through the wide gate, through the broad way. The broad way is, you know what? I can get drunk. Look, I can have sex outside of marriage. Look, I, I, I can do what I want to do and just believe in Jesus when that's false. These churches today are preaching to you that you're always going to be a sinner. You're condemned in your sin. You can't stop sinning. But Jesus preaches otherwise. I want to preach what Jesus preached. Jesus said, uh, he who is a slave to sin, he who sins is a slave to sin. And a, and a slave doesn't abide in the house forever. You want to be a slave of sin? Well, if you're sinning every day, you're a slave to sin. You are a slave to that which you obey. So if you believe, look, I can't stop sinning. I sin every single day. I can't help it, but I believe Jesus and I'm going to I do good deeds. I'm going to be right with God. No, people, you cannot get to God without getting through the sun, going through the sun, being clothed with Jesus Christ and his righteousness. People, I care about you people very, very much. I wouldn't be out here making myself a spectacle if I didn't care about you people. I want you to have life and have it more abundantly and Jesus offers you that life. In Ephesians chapter 2, it says we're saved by grace through faith in that, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. If, if you're not working good works, God said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. There is one creator and maker of heaven and, and, and earth and this is jesus christ this is not buddha this is not muhammad all those are false christ they're all in hell today so people you need to turn to the living risen jesus christ jesus is alive he's at the right hand of the father he's ready to intercede for you today please people take heed to what the spirit of god is saying to you he who has ears hear what the spirit of god is saying to you the Spirit of God is saying, repent, repent. Woman, don't tell me to shut up. What is that? Are you trying to shut up the Word of God? No way. The women need to be silent. That's what the Bible says, to be silent in the church. That's why God uses men, that all men should go in the world and preach the gospel. See, women need strong, godly men in their lives. They need men to come and that love God, that humble themselves in the sight of God, so that they would be worthy of a woman. A woman is, can be a blessing or a curse to a man. So women, be sure you're being a blessing to your man and not a curse, okay? The Bible says it'd be better to dwell in a rooftop than in a house with a contentious woman. Don't be a contentious woman. You need to pick up the Bible. You need to follow Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin. Confess your sin. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You need Jesus. You need him in your life today, people. I'm telling you right now, he is the only way. You're going to face death. You don't want to die in your sin, people. See, by this we know that we pass from death to life because we love the brethren. I love you. I care about you. Jesus showed his love for you by dying on the cross for our sin. He showed his love for you and me. Praise God. That is awesome, but you must live according to the Spirit. You must obey God's Word. The Bible says, He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar. It says in the Bible, this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and that his commandments are not burdensome. Are you keeping his commandments? Are you obeying the Father? Are you, are, you, are you putting all your faith in Jesus? Looking at Jesus as the example. Jesus sinned not one time. He never sinned. So if we're born from above, born by the Spirit of God, we should go and sin no more. Jesus preached that. He said, go and sin no more, lest something worse comes upon you. If you sin here in this world, people, you might find some judgment here. If you have sex outside of marriage, you might, you, might, you might come down with a transmitted disease. 
look, if you drink and get drunk, you might you might kill somebody or yourself, but you're gonna wind up in hell fire. The Bible the Bible says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that he shall also reap. You're gonna reap what you sow. And if you sow to the flesh, with just uh, fulfilling the desires of your flesh, you're gonna reap destruction. You're gonna wind up in hell. The Bible says. There's a way that seems right to a man, but the end of that way is death. So don't think that you know the way outside of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is no one, no one who comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus. He came to free you from your sin. He freed me from my sin. I don't desire to sin against God. I desire to obey Him. I desire to please God. I desire to keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment that we believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another. So people, I love you. I care about you. I want you to be warm. Examine your life. Start reading the Bible. Stop looking for the next party, the next uh, the time to revel, get drunk, the next time to, to lust for women, to lust for men. You need to stop it. You need to stop it. Go and send no more, people. someone else then. No, I'm good. Just be sure. Are you Thank sure? You. Yeah, I'm good. You don't want God to say, I'm good. He Are you a Christian? Good. He knows you're good. There's no. none good. No, not one. That's what the Bible says. You can't, you got to re be repented of your sin. Gospel track? Jesus? It's a gospel, man. Examine your life. Welcome. Yeah, this that ministry that's on there. Um, I've actually spoken with this guy. It's a uh, it's a pretty powerful ministry. Check it out online. Yeah, it's true, man. It is true. Jesus also he taught to go and sin no more. So if we, if we are sinning... Well, we all, we all. Now why is that? Because you got too much killing going on. That's well, see, right. I mean, that look, look God judges the intents of the heart. Yeah. So if you get angry and hate someone, if you can call them a fool, yeah. you're in danger of, danger of hell and fire. Oh, yeah. So that's where we got to be full of the Spirit. We got to set our yeah. mind on spiritual things. Yeah, and then, anything you do that you don't snitch, you when don't When I was a little right. kid, I said my grandma, I was... She had like put me in a little car seat. Mm -hmm. And I sat in the back seat of the car. And I remembered when I remembered I said to her, I said, look, Mama, there's a brain site. I said, there's heaven. She goes, I never thought of that way. I said, well, that's the closest you can get to heaven. I said, because your body is underneath the ground and your spirit is going to be lifted up to with God. That's that's if you're born again, though. you got to yes. be born from above. It's yes. true, yes. So she, my grandma never forgot that when I was a little kid and I told her that. Wow. 
Yeah, the Bible says the grave can't even contain, it couldn't contain Jesus. Yes. He rose from the grave, so praise the Lord. 